hello guys welcome to draw my look part 10 where you all draw my makeup look and i try my best to recreate it here is the look y'all see the instructions like we're getting very clear very precise instructions with this look there's no way that i can mess it up and i like this type of thing also because it gives me enough detail to kind of still have my imagination with it and my creativity in it as well for starters, I did my base like she said, you know, with my brows just being normal. We're going to get into the little extra that I'll do with my brows. But for now, let's get into drawing this ice cream cone. I'm really excited for it. The cherry on top of that. There's a lot of aspects about this look I like. Y'all let me know y'all favorite thing about this look when everything is completed. But I'm kind of obsessed. I can kind of be imaginative with this and just kind of go off of what I see. She didn't give me like clear shapes and lines and things like that. So I'm just going to create my own. So I'm going to start with the ice cream cone. I do want to leave enough room for the cherry to sit here and the stem to go into the brow like she's wanting. So I'm kind of going to carve this out almost like I would carve my crease out if I was doing a cut crease. Here we are. <laughs> We're going to stop there. Okay, so here's where error starts to come in on my part. I'm going to, because of where my crease is in my eye trying to like draw like round drips there is just not gonna work so what i'm gonna have to do is i am gonna have to make this higher so that i can have a little bit of room for the drips and then go from there because everywhere where there's a crease and below is gonna have to be pink because i can't, like the drips yeah i hope you get what i'm saying but just know that's kind of why i'm gonna change the shape a little bit just a slight adjustment but i think it'll make a world of difference Okay, Lel, let's start to try to draw these drips. Oh gosh, we're just gonna carve them out. Don't hate humble beginnings, okay? Because these drips are gonna look really cool. Using some brown liquid lipstick to just get in all these little drips. Now I'm going in to add my ice cream color, which is this beautiful pink. Y'all already know the pink is eating. We just filled in that eye to create this shape. Oh my gosh. The cone on the bottom, I can just already see this this being so dope. Call me crazy, but I like the drips on here more than these drips. These ones are just too uniform, so I'm going to kind of mix it up a little bit. Let's start carving out that waffle cone. This is a waffle cone specifically. I have done those before. It's very tedious, but it's doable, so I'm not too scared. Filling this in, and I'm just using like a darker concealer color because I don't just have like brown paints laying around, but I need these to be kind of liquidy. So concealer is coming in clutch. Starting to outline that checkered pattern. So, you know, diagonal lines and then we'll crisscross them to make the squares. You see the pattern, I'm gonna clean it up so far. Oh my gosh, this is about to look so dope. I don't even think y'all understand. I'm going in between my little waffle indents with some darker brown eyeshadow. It just creates this really nice shadowed effect compared to this like more flat effect. Little things like that will just kick things up a notch, you know? We're gonna move on to our sprinkle freckles for now. Do y'all see? Ah, I just love details like this. I'm gonna use my liner palette here and just create cute little freckles. Like, but sprinkle, like, come on, please. Oh, it's so fun. Let's just do a few different colors for now adorable i'm gonna use liquid eyeshadow to just draw my cherry on i just added shimmer shimmery eyeshadow she clearly said she wants the stem to go through my brows so we're gonna do that just use an eyeliner got that subtle ombre that she wanted let's just do some brown liner a little pink in the middle never hurt love some liner uh Lipstick first, and then I gotta add pink gloss in the center too. Lip gloss, and it's got a light in it and a mirror. Yes. Yes, you see that payoff? Gloss right on top, and then we love to double gloss in this house. Do you see that shine? Yes. Lastly, we have the lashes, so let's see if the final look. Here is the final look. Oh my gosh. Why am I actually obsessed with all the little details like the sprinkles and just look at the ice cream. So cute. I also love the way the waffle cone looks and the cherry on top eight. I'm really loving my last choice with this one. I really hope y'all are feeling it. I know y'all always be like, why'd you use a black lash? There's black nowhere in this look. 
we might as well go for pink and I'm loving how it kind of created an ombre type of look because the pink lash is kind of darker than what's the ice cream color I just it's like the little details with this whole look I'm gonna rate this look a literal 10 out of 10 for execution and it's number 10 period just because it was broad she did let me kind of do what I wanted and I feel like I brought her vision to life I hope she can agree but I absolutely love this one and I'm so proud of it I am I had so much fun y'all this is 10 out of a million looks to do so keep submitting your looks there is definitely a chance that i'll do it because i'm gonna keep doing this series it's not like it's ever gonna stop so there's a chance that i will see your look and i will recreate it i also recommend for other makeup artists anybody who is looking to be inspired by their audience to do this it's not like it hasn't been done before but the way that it's helped me engage with my audience you guys has just been such a pleasure to me and i love it i am so excited for the next 10 and the 10 after that and the 10 after that but i'm proud to get to this point so thank y'all so much i love